Have you ever played follow the leader? Last week, we talked about Peter. He was a disciple of Jesus. That means he was a follower of Jesus. Jesus and Peter played like a three year long game of follow the leader. Peter was with him at the beginning of his ministry and was there up until the day they took Jesus away. I'm getting so bored out here, Simon. How long have we been fishing? I don't know, a while. I just really just don't understand how we haven't caught any fish. Hey you, out there, on that boat. Yeah, you. Did you hear that? Yeah, it, it looks like some guy on the beach trying to get our attention. It, don't worry about it, it's probably nothing. Yeah, you, hey. Haven't caught anything, have you? No, no, this is the man I told you about. He isn't just some guy, he's the Messiah. Andrew, we have to focus or we're not gonna catch anything. Come on, Simon. We have nothing to lose. Maybe he knows some stuff about fishing. <sighs> All right, let's see. Teacher, do you have any ideas on how we could catch some more fish? Oh uh, yeah, throw the nets on the other side. Trust me. Um, is he kidding? We've been trying this all night. No, I'm not kidding. Simon, come on. This is our best shot at catching something. A, a teacher, we've been out here all night. We haven't caught anything. What makes you think we're going to catch something now? Oh, you got to trust me on this one. Just go ahead and toss them nets on the other side and uh, you'll see. That's good, right there. Listen, I put my complete trust in you and we have put the nets in the water now. What happens next? It has already happened. Take a closer look. Pull up the nets. It, it worked. It, it pull up the nets or they're going to break quick. Andrew. Uh, uh, uh. Andrew, Andrew, help me quick. There's somebody, anyone, just come help me. Andrew, quick, look at this. Look how many fish we actually caught. I told you. He's the Messiah. All we had to do was believe. Lord, I am not good enough to be around you. I am a sinful person. Do not be afraid. From this point forward, you will fish for men. Lord, fish for men? I don't know how to do that. As you can see, I can barely even catch any fish. Just come follow me. I will show you how to fish for men. Okay, what must I do, Lord? You have shown me anything is possible with you, but only if I trust in you. Well, do you trust me, Simon? I do, I trust you, Lord. What do I do next? Drop everything, including your nets, and come follow me. I will drop everything for you, Lord, but where are we going? Wherever the Father in heaven takes us. The first thing Peter had to do to follow Jesus was be invited. In Matthew 28, 19, Jesus told his disciples to invite the whole world to follow him. That means me and you have been invited to follow along too. The other thing Peter had to do was put aside the things he wanted to do for the things that Jesus was calling him to do. If you jump up and down when Simon says, clap your hands, you're not playing the game very well. Likewise, sometimes we have to do the things we don't always feel like doing because we know they're what we should be doing. If you've never accepted the invitation to follow Jesus, I wanna invite you right now. Jesus loves you so, so much that he gave everything to save you. He wants to be with you all the time and help you through life. All you have to do is accept the invitation and follow him. Would you like to do that today? You would? Awesome. Repeat after me, dear Jesus, Thank you for making a way for me to follow you. Thank you for choosing me and loving me even more than your own life. I have decided to follow you forever and ever. Come and live in my heart and be my best friend. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer today, I want you to tell an adult so that we can celebrate with you. Now it's your turn to go out and invite someone to follow Jesus. Bye.